as well as being functional, bar stools can make a great design statement. So Aaron's back to show us a selection. And there's yes. something very cool about using a stool, but especially a bar stool in your space. Yeah, bar height dining is a real trend now. And we were just talking about where it comes from. It really comes from people going out to yeah. clubs and restaurants and, you know, enjoying eating that way. So why not bring that look home? Works especially well in smaller spaces in condos. Mm -hmm. Doesn't take up too much room and can look really cool. Absolutely. So, th I mean, this setup right here, it just screams luxe, it's warm, it's hot, and it's inspired by... Miami. Yes. We have a bit of a Miami look going on because these stools, these great stools uh, from Inner Design, are actually were first designed for the standard hotel in Miami Beach. Okay. So that's the idea. You can actually find these pieces that you've sat on in restaurant, bars, and clubs, and you can bring them into your own home. So you can have this look at home. That's right. Now it's all about figuring out the way, like the functionality. How it does is. your life work? Are yeah. you a young couple? Are you know, if you don't have, if you've got kids, maybe you don't want something that's bar height, because um, you're going to be lifting them up every time they've got a meal to get them up there. They might fall out of the chair. But if you're a young couple, this makes perfect sense. If you don't have a lot of space, it makes a lot of sense, it right? It does. It does. And just the idea of trying to set up a look that you want to kind of live with as well. So this yes. is very much kind of a, a Miami modern mm. vibe with the golds and the green in here as well so it's very easy to pull a small look like this together it doesn't it's not very very difficult to do and IKEA is great because they have lots of bar height uh, options in stools and in, in and dining tables as well as this table is from IKEA that's right and this might be the only option if people want and eat in space in their kitchen Absolutely. you know they might not have a lot of space this yeah, is not everybody has it. an island that will take stools so if you have that's a small right. space this is a perfect uh, option just to pop that into that, that small interior for you Beautiful. Now you've got other options as well. We do. A few different looks. So we just want to kind of give you a, an idea of the range of different looks out there and the things that you should look for. Well, first of all, you have to figure out, do you want counter height or bar height? So some right. of these are counter height, some of them are bar height. Uh, seat height is 23 or 28 on a counter height and around 29 to 32 or so in a bar height. Okay, so get it right the though. Wrong one. I have friends, we know people who bought the wrong ones. Yes. Very easy to do. Um, so make sure you buy the right height. First of all is to look at the style that you want to bring into your home and how you live with things too. Yeah. So this incredibly sexy stool mm. with a velvet seat is fantastic. Uh, and looks very, very glamorous. Love the gold. It's beautiful. It. But I think it might be not the best look if you've got kids who like to throw food around. Right. So you just have to think <laughs> about the seat. Yes, that might get a little bit destroyed. But yeah. if you are a grown up and you are not putting your spaghetti sauce on exactly. your chair, that is the stool for you. You're allowed. I can see you sitting on that with a cocktail. It would look perfect. Absolutely. Anywhere in the house. So this one's beautiful because it looks, um, it looks low maintenance. It is low maintenance. Basically, this one's from IKEA. Very easy to take care of. And the other good thing about IKEA's tools is a lot of them are actually good for hotels and restaurants. So they rate them. They will actually tell you oh, the yeah. maximum weight that these stools oh, will take. Right. Not that you want to wear your friends when they're coming in the house, but <laughs> you will know that these are good, hard-wearing stools which are designed for a lot of use. Absolutely. Which is very, very good, a good thing to figure out. Okay. So this one is great because it's very easy clean mm -hmm. and it has a scoop seat. Now, yeah. why do you want a scoop seat? It's good for your tush. Yes, exactly. So this one, which is a very hot look, the whole kind of industrial look, yes. is looks very cool but may not be as comfortable as something that is soft and upholstered like this or mm -hmm. something that has a scoop seat to it. Functionality, people. Like, how long are you going to be hanging out at your island? For us, we're there all the time. Mm -hmm. The kids do their homework there. They eat breakfast there. So you need a little bit of comfort. And you maybe a back. Like, yeah, that one's got a back one on it, great too. It has a back, and it is adjustable, too. But you know what? The look... Is very is very hot right now. So oh, totally. You don't take away from it too much, but you you might want to consider how much time you're going to be sitting on on a hard Absolutely. seat like that. Too. Totally. Okay, so moving right along, yes. um, that looks comfy. Much more that comfortable. Looks very comfortable. With the fully upholstered seats and the back too, and then almost a place that you could pop a handbag on the bottom if you really wanted. Yes. To. So very much a restaurant-inspired piece that we see here, and again that look is is on the modernist kind of mid-century style, but this one um, has almost like a bar vibe to it too with the yes. colors you're seeing the rich kind of leather look upholstery the gold details on here too so a very very hot look is that bar height this one is actually bar height okay you can tell it's a little bit taller it is, yes this you is right, mentioned six or eight, uh, inches difference so. okay you mentioned the tray underneath there yes. I wish every restaurant did that 
or at least Where the hook underneath. Where do you put your purse? The a hook, hook, up, the hook, something. The minimum you should have a handbag hook. I agree. Or you ask you if you, some better restaurants have a little stool for a your. A little stool would be amazing. A hook would be good, but there needs to be somewhere to put the purse, right? You don't exactly. want to put it on the ground. Um, moving right along from this one, easy to clean, low maintenance. It's got a bag and a classic too. So it's this a one is, is really classic in the sense if you have kind of that French country look or modern country look, this is the stool that you would tend to go for. Yes. Great classic piece from Ikea, another lovely one to consider. Very easy to take care of as well, just completely wipeable surface and a good one to consider for an interior for sure. You know what we do, we've got ones that are very close to that, but they've got their slip covered. Mm -hmm. So that way, I mean, the first set of slip covers have been completely destroyed. And so then we put the second set of slip covers on and then we got a dog. Mm -hmm. So now we got to get a new set of slip covers. But what's good about that is you can keep switching them out. It looks like you I have gotta ask stools. you though, what's your dog doing on your stools? Is, is your dog smart enough to sit on your stool? <laughs> he's not sitting on them, he's eating them. Oh! <laughs> So, That's a well back to dog. obedience school we go. <laughs>